Hey kids, John here, going to talk a little bit about the Protec case line. They're a decent case line that offers a pretty decent amount of value. If you need an aftermarket case and you just want something that has average protection, they're not a bad case. If you bump into a doorway, your horns will be fine. I wouldn't check Protec bags. I wouldn't do it. Lots of little pouches, put extra stuff, which is good because you want to separate your stuff from your horns. Don't put a bunch of stuff in a case like this with your horns. Right here is about $10,000 worth of trumpets if I had to buy it all again and do it all again. That's a lot of money. And yes, I'm trusting it to a what? A $150, $200 case. Think about it, okay? Now, the nice thing about this is you can reconfigure this by pulling out these compartments here. They'll come out and you can move this over, make this a trumpet, and then this side a flugel. It has to be a small flugel. It's not going to hold a large flugel. It's got to be the smaller wrapped flugel, otherwise it's just not going to go in there. Again, not a bad bag if you're putting it in your trunk of your car and taking it to the gig. If you're traveling a lot and you don't know whether or not that this is going to go up above for sure, which it should, the measurements are good, this should, the Protec Triple should go up above on a larger aircraft. The problem is if it doesn't, now you're taking a chance with your horns underneath the aircraft. Here's a Protec single case. It's not necessarily their newest one. It's quite a few generations old, but it still represents the basic design of their, their single cases. Got a slot for the horn, and you got room for other items. When you're putting other items in here, if you checked out my gear video, my gear in my case video, you notice I had bags. I keep all my small items in bags so they don't come flying out and sneak over this section and start bouncing around in where my horn is. So be very careful about what you put inside a case. That slot right there is basically meant for mutes. This outer slot is meant for your miscellaneous items like valve oils and mouthpiece pouches. Now, they make a bunch of cases for different instruments, single cases for different instruments. One thing about Protec, their line is probably the largest case line out there, or one of, that's for sure. Not a bad case, it's got room for pencils and little items, you can tuck stuff in the side pouch. They do do a good job of de designing their little side pouches. Protec is getting very crafty about that. Again, very simple design, you just slide your cornet right into this case and done. The next Protec case is, again, it's a single case, and this one's for Flugel. This one has a very basic side pouch. It's just a pouch. Throw your stuff in there. And then, inside, again, it's just a foam slot for the horn. Horn slides in. Pa pow There's a stand in there. Didn't know about that. Good times. So your horn slides out, slides in, and it's relatively well protected. Again, I wouldn't check that underneath. Here is something I would definitely not check underneath, and I'd definitely be worried about hitting a door with this thing. It is a Protec gig bag. They make a few gig bags as well. Gig bags are very convenient because you just go pup how, zip, and out the door. The only problem with them is if you bang it against something, you might have a little bit of a problem with your horn. So if you're walking along and you got this on your back and you're running to catch the train, you go kapow into some kind of doorway or some hard object, chances are now you've got a massive dent in your bell. So I don't particularly like gig bags because of the lack of protection. I'd rather have something that may be just a little bit more bulky, but I'll use the space to my advantage and I'll use the protection to save my investment. Till then, kids, have a great day.